even a novice user can use a lot of powerful capabilities to start to look at predictive analytics, to dig down into different visualization types, to look at custom metrics in their reports. Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Powered by Snowflake. Today, I'm talking with Trevor Kaufman, the CEO of Piano, a digital experience cloud that empowers teams to understand and influence customer behavior that is powered by Snowflake. Trevor, how are you today? I'm great, Daniel. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So to, uh, to really kick this off, I want to learn more about you, your background, and, and what you're doing at, at Piano here today. So Daniel, my background is actually in the digital agency business. I founded a, an agency called Schematic that uh, became part of WPP in 2007. And after I sold it to WPP, we eventually made it the cornerstone of a larger global digital ad network for WPP that was called Possible, that's now part of Wonderman Thompson there. And over the course of my time at WPP, one of my colleagues came into my office one day and said, we now have this thing called programmatic advertising. And it means that CPMs are probably never going to support the production of premium content ever again. That now that audience was addressable, instead of just buying adjacency on premium publishers, the ad rates were no longer going to support on their own the production of great content. And he said, I think everybody in the media business needs to go behind a paywall at once. And I didn't know that that was really the answer. I thought probably there was a more nuanced solution to the business model for content on the internet. But I became interested in that space and started looking at it. And eventually, um, another colleague uh, said to me, "We've. Uh, I just read this article in Business Insider about a little company in Tribeca in downtown Manhattan that's doing a lot of what you mentioned and helping companies charge for access to content. Uh, so I started seed financing that business and kind of fell in love with it. And over the course of the next year, um, transitioned out of my job at WPP and into the job as, as the CEO of Piano. That's awesome. That's awesome. So for the Folks viewing here today, can you explain a little bit more and go deeper in what is a digital experience cloud? What Piano is focused on is really two separate areas. One is analytics, right? Reporting on data. And the other is activation, how we set up rules so that any team can create a, a logical behavior in the business so it can react to data in real time. So really, we think about how we can merge lots of different data sets together in one place so they can drive that reporting capability and also that, um, that targeting capability. We, we talk about analytics and activation or insight and action. That's awesome. So it's very, very data driven, it sounds like. Perfect, perfect fit for Snowflake. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, we like to say that in a business to business context, you tend to know your customers. Most business to business folks have a limited number of customers where their sales reps, their client success teams actually build relationships with those people. We're more of a business to consumer enabler and our clients are big media companies, big financial services firms, big travel firms who have millions of customers. And so the only thing they know about those customers is their data. So everything we do, whether it's analytics to drive understanding or whether it's activation to drive business results is absolutely 100% built on data. That's awesome, that's awesome. So can you tell me more about kind of the history of Piano? Kind of when exactly did Piano start? Who are some of the, the most notable customers that you have today? So Piano works with a variety of big websites around the world that are all focused on how to maximize the value of every single visit, right? So we think when I speak at conferences, one of the things I tend to say is, 
I have several first party cookies on every device in this room. And I know that because you guys read articles, right? And we have, there's no solution that's more deployed against media customers in the world than piano. And now we've started to grow more aggressively into other industries and verticals as well. Again, this is a slightly old staff slide. We're now 18 offices with about 670 staff, but it's a truly global business. That's awesome. It seems like explosive growth, really exciting to see. So can you talk also a little bit more about some of the data? What is the data that you have, right? And, and how are you using Snowflake to analyze that data? So we like to think of our data store within Snowflake as a multi-dimensional, real-time data availability layer. So for us, our clients may have other places where they store data, but we use Snowflake as a central repository for all the data in our business, which is all about customer touch points. So behavioral data is all the traditional data that you would think of from web interactions. And I, I really believe we're the best in the industry at capturing accurate privacy first device agnostic data across the digital ecosystem for our customers and, and many customers like, for example, the BBC have used Piano as really their data infrastructure to capture data across devices. Then we have DMP data as we think about it. So segmentation that we do on customers, CDP data, which is a variety of answers to questions that we might ask on websites or data that our clients upload in their customer records. We have transactional data because we manage subscriptions for tons of customers around the world. We index all the content that our end users read across sites so we can see, start to see within a site specifically what they're interested in. And then we're also a leading organic and paid social media posting company for our clients. So we're getting a lot of data about social interaction as well. All of that data goes into Snowflake and powers the applications we've built on top of it, specifically analytical applications and targeting applications, a kind of no-code rules engine that enables our clients to orchestrate what goes on either within Piano or within other systems. That's really powerful. So uh, can we see a demo of it today? Daniel, one of the virtues of Piano Analytics is that we have a lot of pre-built and opinionated reports built within our tool as well as a lot of powerful bespoke querying capability, an in-page analytics tool that lets you see how performance is going on the page that you're on, as well as a lot of totally kind of really flexible, almost infinite capability in terms of dashboarding. So those four tools are Data Explorer, data query tool, in-page analytics, and dashboards mean that our clients can really get their data that is housed in Snowflake into Piano and look at it in, in the ways that make the most sense to them. In this, which is our Explore tool, it's really impossible to generate a bad report. And in fact, even a novice user can use a lot of powerful capabilities to start to look at predictive analytics, to dig down into different visualization types, to look at custom metrics in their reports that they might have created, even to do these kinds of machine learning analytical analyses where they might look at a, you know, a day or a month of data and start to see anomalies in that data that they can then report on and start to dig in and understand. So you can see here where there's an anomaly in the data where it falls outside of the expected range I can actually do some analysis and see precisely why, what are the other data factors that caused that data to be out of range? So here you can see a lot fewer visitors, for example, to a given set of pages, right? Or a lot fewer visitors from a given device type that caused a drop in a particular area. And of course, the more data that we're putting in here through Snowflake, whether that be social media data, whether that be transactional data around subscriptions or purchases, or whether it be content analysis data, it really provides an increasingly rich set of factors to correlate. Where all the data that we talked about and showed in, in within the 
analytics environment really comes to life is an environment where you can set up rules for specifically what happens based on that data. So we have segmentation engines that enable you to take your data and create custom segments based on a whole variety of different factors, whether that's geography, entitlement, interaction with advertising, browser, device, refer, whether they have an ad blocker or a particular payment mechanism configured. And we use all of that data to enable our customers to set up orchestration rules so that they can show specific offers to specific users at specific times, as well as to set up A-B tests without creating any code. So there's a real advantage to our customers so that they can set up these conditional logic sets in their digital applications without needing an IT team to do something like set up a sophisticated or nested A-B test or a new marketing tactic or promotion, they can set that up very easily um, without outside IT support, knowing that it's all data-driven and they can use the machine learning models elsewhere within their organization in that set of rules. Making it easy for utilizing those machine models is a one of those things that's actually like really powerful like you know it's cool to see how easy it is to set up those types of rules and leverage that type of technology for for somebody that that uh you know like you said you don't rely on on it teams you can build those things yourself so um that's awesome to see so how how is it that um you know you're able to do this type of analysis you know it really seems like you have to have a platform uh, like Snowflake to power this. Um, can you talk a little bit about why you chose Snowflake to, to build this application on top of? Snowflake really provides a lot of the power that makes our solution possible. First of all, Snowflake gives us a unified data model that means for the kinds of large organizations we deal with, they're, all, they're able to have everyone in the company have a single source of truth with regards to data. That's critical for us. But I think even, well, another factor that I would say is very important is uh, the, the performance, right? The fact that the data pipeline is as quick as it is and queries come back as quickly as they do is, is vital for us because we're working in sectors where waiting 40 minutes or waiting two hours or even more is, is just not acceptable in terms of a, a time to get data return to us. So both the speed of, of the pipeline and, and the performance of queries are, are really critical for us. The, the power versus cost equation in, in Snowflake also really does a lot to power piano solution. Our data is unsampled, which makes us different than every other analytics tool on the market. And when you're looking at the types of behaviors that we're focused on, specifically understanding something like how a particular segment converts, you're looking at a very small slice of overall data. And if our data was sampled, we couldn't provide accurate reporting to our customers. I think that the industry has sort of become to come to accept a very low data quality, but working with Snowflake makes it possible for us to keep that data quality extraordinarily high, but yet be performant and cost effective, which is totally unique. I would also say in today's very privacy centric environment and with the speed at which our customers work, the ability to effectively pre-process, but also post-process data once it's inside of Snowflake is critical for us because if a customer data set needs to be deleted or changed after the fact, that's possible in Snowflake. And it's possible in piano analytics where it's just not possible given our competitor or legacy competitors in the space. And that, that really cripples and frankly puts our clients at, at some amount of legal and financial risk for not being able to do so. Yeah, having that level of granular access to that data really seems like a, a, a big needle mover for, for Piano in this case, uh, and a big, big value for your customers. That's, that's really cool to see. We, we, we build sophisticated queries on a regular basis and let clients play with data in a way that I don't think they could do if we were built on a platform that was not as performant as Snowflake, where we can you know, really enable them to play with data to an extent that they just really couldn't achieve if those queries were slow or effectively expensive in another platform. 
That makes a lot of sense. So what is next for piano? But, you know, six months, one year down the line, where do you see piano as a product um, and, and some of the, the capabilities that you're working on now? We really see the world again through this data lens. And so as piano grows, we have a tremendous amount of data across really the internet ecosystem because we work with so many media clients who have very large sites, really billions and billions of page views uh, on a monthly basis, well over a trillion uh, of those a year. That enables us to get real insight into content consumption uh, and conversion behavior around the world, which is very exciting for us. I think we're going to be putting a lot more data into that Snowflake data store in the future, which is going to provide our clients with a lot more power. I think, too, um, we're very focused on some data sets that have not really been easily available to clients, enabling them to share data through, um, through data sharing in Snowflake, uh, enabling them to use all the piano touch points, like understanding advertising revenue data and users' interaction with advertising uh, in a compliant way is very exciting for us. So th there's, a, there's a lot um, enabling uh, uh, our customers to exchange entitlement information so our customers can bundle together offerings uh, is very exciting. So there's really a lot of ways that we're connecting customers, both on our own and through Snowflake, that um, that we think is very exciting. For them. Yeah, that that is pretty amazing to hear. Uh, you know, I know data sharing within Snowflake is one of those features that is uh, a game changer because it allows you know your customers to. Uh, you know, have, you know, utilizing zero copy cloning uh, of Snowflake, uh, be able to query and, and leverage that data both within Piano and themselves. So that's, that's really awesome to hear. For folks that want to learn more and connect with Piano moving forward, where should they go? Well, hopefully our website, piano.io, does a good job of uh, both communicating and showcasing our, our product suite, uh, but also helping uh, people understand how they can get connected with uh, a team from Piano in their local market. And of course, we're quite well connected with the um, uh, Snowflake uh, sales and partnership team. So to the extent um, uh, people want to access us through their Snowflake representative, they can do that as well. Awesome. And for everybody here watching today, if you want to learn how to build your application on Snowflake, check out developers.snowflake.com. Thanks.